Sam, that was really curious. The first 15 minutes, it was it was bizarre. It was almost like you were bit part players in a soap opera. I think we looked, we looked frightened. I think we looked scared of going out and playing. You know, I think we didn't get a grips of the Chelsea midfield, particularly we didn't go up against them. We, we picked a, a team to go up against them and put them under pressure when they were receiving the ball. We never really did that. And I think that the, the biggest problem is not doing your job on a corner, first and foremost. So when you give them that first goal so early, it lifts the whole, um, the whole of the Chelsea stadium, the fans, the players, and gives them the confidence that they may have been lacking before. So right from the start, when we didn't do that correctly, we made life very difficult for ourselves and never really seemed to recover from that. So I was happy to get in at 2-0 down, I must admit, in, uh, uh, on the first half. I had to change the personnel again, which worries me. You know, we set a team out to go and do a job. They can't do it. As a manager, you're almost changing after 20 minutes, 30 minutes to try and put it right to help them. It's not what you do. It's not what you want to do. But unfortunately, what you, what you see, you have to react on. That made us a little better. And then we did the most stupidest thing of all in, in the second half, and that's given them a penalty where we'd really no need to. And, uh, and I think after that is we saw something like what we should be when we, when we um, you know, got the players playing how we know they can. We put Chelsea under a little bit of pressure, far too late, but at least the goal got us back in the game, and at least from there we did start to create some chances and we did start to put Chelsea's back back four under pressure and um, didn't convert any of those chances far too late to probably get a result but at least give me a little bit of encouragement that you know that, that some of the players that came on today made a difference and it, and uh, and we got ourselves back in the game and didn't fold or didn't go under what do you make of what what's happened here in the last 48 hours or so uh, sad because of one of the you know best managers in my time no doubt about that if, you know, he's right up there with the, with the very best. As, as, I don't know, let's hope he stays in the Premier League somewhere, you know, who knows. But, you know, it's been, it's been a, a, obviously a traumatic week for them. We've got to come and play them and we've got to be professional about what we try and do. We haven't been um, in terms of how we play in the first half. But certainly, uh, you know, as, as, a, as a manager, fellow manager to another, that, you know, it was always great. We, always, we were great to see him come back and what he achieved and, and what he succeeded as a manager. We all strive to be as best we can and what he's achieved over the last 10 or 15 years is phenomenal. He didn't get enough time to turn it around this season. How much time do you think it's going to take you to turn Sunderland around by the end of this season? Uh, well, hopefully before, but we've had a few setbacks recently where this performance didn't deserve anything, but certainly the performance against Watford and, uh, and the f performance, I thought, against Chelsea, uh, Arsenal, sorry, and we haven't got anything out of it. That's my worry. My worry is it, with a good performance, we've not picking up any points. And that's what we've got to sort of turn around. And if there's a, it's looking now on January window that if we can do some business, it's going to be helpful to the squad and the team to try and get out of the position we're in. And every game goes by and you don't pick a point up, puts you deeper and deeper into the, the pressure pot. And we've got to be able to deal with that.